Welcome back to the Gump Files, folks. Working on my uh, pressure washer, my GC160 uh, Honda. Um, was a gift. Gift being that uh, they were throwing it out because it didn't work well. Find out it had really bad gas in it um, and a shitty plug. Pulled the plug, put a new plug in, empty the gas tank, put some good uh, good fuel in it with some fuel saver on there. Fire it up after I got to fire it up and then cleaned out cleaned out the. Uh, the breather case it was all gummed up had leaves and shit in it ends up working up really really nice i had to buy a whole new wand for it which is not a big deal i run three eighths probably should have run a quarter because it's a little too much volume but all in all fantastic pressure washer for a gift um served as many times in many different residential houses biggest issue was these uh semi rubber just dragging it around a property looking like a shit heel doing it so I set about trying to find a set of rims and hubs and tires. And I come find out this here is a three quarter. And where I'm at, um, good luck finding that. Checked out Amazon, couldn't find anything. Checked out the TSC store or PV Mart, couldn't find any. Lowe's, Home Depot, everything is a five eighths. So I set out and I find myself a set of three quarters. I'm like, yes, we are sound as a pound. We're cooking with fire now. I uh, spin this off one day when I go home. Look at it. That is actually a 28 mil nut. Who the hell put the 28 mil nut on a little six and a half horse pressure washer? Regardless, I overcome that. I then find the three quarter hub. I slide it onto that shaft. And lo and behold, I'm coming up short. And my wife says, well, we're all coming up short. Just work with what you got. So now I'm working with you with what I've got, thanks to my wife's advice, with all things. So I'm just like, well, what the hell do I do with that? I got a 5 8 shaft. I got a 5 8 uh, I can't lengthen that shaft. So I end up finding a solid rubber 5 8 with a hub. Will not fit on there, which is not a big deal. So we... We do a little research and do a few things like I've done before. I take this, which is a 5 8 and it's long enough to go through here because I've checked it, so I don't have too much thread sticking out here. I don't have too much thread sticking out here. And, um, you know, it's not riding on thread instead of actually this throw here. So what I end up doing is I cut this off with a grinder, grind all this down, get yourself a good booger weld machine and then you weld it on just like that good penetration looks like hell no one's going to see it who cares and if your best friend wants to borrow and complains about it don't lend it to him put a washer on it then feeds into there all nicely put another washer on another nut i would throw a little Loctite in there because it's not a it's not a poly lock nut. Yeah, I'm sure you can find one. Spin that in. Voila, we've got a solid rubber unit ready to go. Works with a lot of things. I'm not sure if I'd run a whole lot of weight on that, but for this little unit running around the yard, it'll be useful. Easy fix. I'm about six bucks into a home hardware, which they really like to charge you a lot, not even by the pound anymore. So, crisis averted, everything fixed, and now I have about $100 worth of rubber tires that I can't use, but I guess I'll build a wagon next and, you know, go from there kind of thing. So, if you're ever looking to fix something like that, weld it on, make sure your spacing is good between here and here. Bob's your uncle.